Do you know the true story of Prophet Adam? Peace be upon him. Allah the Almighty spoke to the angels and said, I am going to create generations of mankind on earth. The angels asked, Will you place those who will cause mischief and shed blood while we glorify you and sanctify you? Allah replied, I know what you do not know. When Allah decided to create Adam, the angels understood that mankind would face challenges, but Allah's wisdom prevailed. Some traditions suggest that the jinn predicted humanity's actions before Adam. Allah revealed that he would create a human from clay, mold him, breathe his spirit into him, and the angels should prostrate. Allah sent angels to gather clay from the earth, but it refused. After multiple attempts, the angel of death successfully gathered clay from various places. Allah shaped Adam, who remained a clay figure for 40 years. When Allah breathed his spirit into Adam, the angels prostrated. As Adam's spirit reached different parts, he sneezed and praised Allah. After Adam's creation, Allah created Eve, Hawa, from Adam's rib to be his companion. Allah taught Adam the names of everything and showed them to the angels, asking them to name those things. The angels admitted their limited knowledge, and Allah said, O oh Adam, tell them the names. After Adam named the things, Allah reminded them that he knows both the hidden and the revealed. Allah instructed the angels to prostrate before Adam, but Iblis, a.k.a. Satan, refused due to his pride and disbelief. Allah commanded Adam and his wife to reside in paradise, freely enjoying its blessings, but to avoid a specific tree. However, Satan enticed them, suggesting that eating from the tree would grant them immortality or angelic status. Deceived by his words, they ate from the tree and realized their nakedness. Allah reprimanded them and clothed them with the leaves of paradise. Adam and his wife acknowledged their mistake and sought Allah's forgiveness. Allah forgave them, but they were sent down to earth as temporary inhabitants, with enmity between them and Satan. Adam was granted words from his Lord and divine pardon. As they descended to earth, they became the progenitors of all human beings, and Adam was designated as the first prophet to guide his descendants. Allah cast Iblis out of paradise for his arrogance. Iblis requested respite until the day of resurrection, vowing to mislead humanity. Allah granted his request, but Iblis vowed to lead people astray. The story of Adam's creation and his time in paradise showcases Allah's wisdom, the angel's obedience, and the consequences of disobedience. It emphasizes human nature's vulnerability to temptation and the importance of seeking Allah's forgiveness. This narrative illustrates the profound lessons of humility, trust, and the significance of following divine guidance. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more videos.